is there a is there a non non snarky or non smart ass way to say well I don't know what came first the chicken or the egg but the inner cities are poverty stricken and being abandoned and they are very concentrated democrat inner cities and the successful people in the middle and upper incomes are out in the suburbs and they're conservatives so if you want to be upper if you want to be middle class try being conservative see what happens you know because mm -hmm. which came first being conservative or being successful but they do seem to be inextricably linked honestly okay conservatism as a political philosophy I don't think it's in, in taken into account really heavily in what you're talking about that that white flight or or you know suburban sprawl phenomenon. What you're getting is people with conservative values, which is different from conservative political ideology, right? Who want to be left alone? They want to live in a space with land, a little bit of grass to mow. They want to to be able to uh, park their car in a garage that's theirs, not necessarily park on a street. They want to go to the store and not have to worry about the 17 times in the past 10 years that that place has been robbed. And where you congregate a lot of people, you have more social problems, and they're fleeing that. That's conservative values at play. That's not conservative political ideology. I think that's a, a keen difference that needs to be denoted. True, very good point. And there's a, a point here about homeowners associations and yes many people move out into the suburbs into neighborhoods that have strong really tight homeowners associations I did that by choice and it's a small organization it's my neighborhood so the rules and regulations are made by people in my neighborhood that I know they're my neighbors and I can join the homeowners association and have an effect on that it's not living inside the city limits and being victimized by the vote of the rain tax and the fact that everybody now has to have the monster size garage I mean the monster size garbage things because you have the automated garbage pickup that's out at your curb rather than your homeowners association deciding to have garbage pickup that's up your driveway so you don't actually have garbage cans all out on the street you know it's it's the yeah I'm choosing strong regulations but in on the smallest level not at the level of the city not at the level of the county the state or the feds but at the level of my neighborhood and that in that actually is a conservative value it's not a conservative it's not conservative political party it's not republicanism it's a conservative value of having the decisions made as close to the people who live with those with the results of those decisions as possible Another thing I don't think we take into account is people who can do for themselves and who have done for themselves, they really want to be left alone. But people who have need of a safety net, they need to live in more concentrated communities. They need to be in places where they can swap favors and whatever. I mean, that harkens back to Megan McArdle and the, the talk about... Um, the economy, yeah, that... This trading economy that she was talking yes, about. Yes, yes, that, that political capital, I mean that different kind of capital, social capital um, that's out there. And so what conservatives do once they get out of a city or once they, they leave that area, people who are doing better, they're not looking back. They don't have any more responsibility to that, the place that they left, that mess. And, and why would you ask them to as a matter of paying for things involuntarily? Now, if they had charitable desires and feelings in their heart, they could rush in and do all kinds of things. And that's what's happening in Detroit, too. People who do make sacrifices so they can help others. Or they develop um, a business that employs people who were previously unemployed. You know, that sort of thing is far different from just trying to, say, expand your city limits so you can grab more suburban tax dollars. Well, what do you? let's get real, totally negative here. What do you say about the inner city voter and leaders that when they group together and they, they are not even trying to paint a pretty face on it? They just basically say, there are more of us, we're going to have more kids, we're going to outnumber the people in the sticks, outvote them, and, and take their money. With our, we're going to elect politicians who are simply going to 
redirect money from the wealthy to us, from the countryside to us, from the, the, the suburbs to us, from everywhere to us. And we're going to suck it up because there's more of us. And what are you going to do about it? What do you say to that? Well, sadly, they don't say that in those words, those, those, those no. terms, too often. But what you do no. say is you tell conservatives to have a lot of babies. Yeah. I'm just saying. <laughs> Thank God for Mormons. That's, that's all I have to say. That's it. We just need to, we need to export Utah everywhere. How do you deal with the, the comeback, though? That's because Republicans... Have left are keeping the big money out of our out of our uh, communities. 